What is going on guys, Velocity here, and I'm here with another duel com with Patrick Games. Patrick, say hello as always. Hi, um, I'm doing another duel com with Velocity, his link will be in the description. And same as always, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. So, what we're going to be discussing today is kind of our experiences with YouTube and our motivation to continue to make videos and, and why we do what we do. So, kind of the first topic I wanted to cover is why did you originally start YouTube? Like what... What was the first, whether it be gaming or just lifestyle or whatever you found, what was what were some of the first videos you found on YouTube? Um, it's sort of complicated because I didn't start with YouTube. Uh, before I even knew YouTube was a thing when I was like a kid, I just liked recording random things um, that were usually funny and then compiling them into a video and then just sending the video files to my family um, yeah. through email and then... But then when like videos started getting like longer than a few minutes, it was hard to like render and just send it straight through email. And so my brother, who's like a tech head, he's a lot older than I am, told me about YouTube and I could upload to YouTube. Um, and so I started uploading unlisted videos, which means you could you had to have a link to see it. And then I'd send the link to just, it was just family at this time. I'd just make stupid kind of like funny videos, not like gaming related. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, like skits and stuff. Um, yeah. And that's what made me like making videos. And um, yeah, so what was your story? I think for me, I, I, I mean, I kind of remember, not, I don't remember the start of YouTube, I'm not like a hipster, but I do remember YouTube as far back as I can remember. I mean, like I remember, obviously the site's only been around since like 2005 or 2007 or something like that, but I remember watching, you know, what everyone watches, like cat videos, things like that that my family would show to me. And I really got into it when I started um, watching sports. Uh, we never had cable, so I was always going online to look for sports highlights and seeing like my favorite players for basketball or football or anything like that. And I'd look up highlight videos for them, and um, I mean it was it was really mm -hmm. really cool, and I just enjoyed seeing the montages like with music and stuff. And uh, a little bit later in the topic, I'll discuss that's kind of how I got started with YouTube. I didn't get started with gaming; I started editing sports highlights. But that's that'll be a topic that'll be for later on in the commentary. So. What, um, when was it that you decided that you first, um, wanted to, like, make your videos public? Because you said you started with, kind of, uh, yeah, videos that unlisted. were private and unlisted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what made you want to, first of all, make public uh, videos, and second well, of all, what were they, gaming, or were they yeah, the same so type I, of skit videos you are making? I'd always wanted to make my videos public, but my parents, and I get, for, I guess for good reason, um, wouldn't let me. Like be, yeah. again, I was like pretty young at the time, so they had like authority over that. But they they yeah. didn't let me post publicly to YouTube. In fact, even making a YouTube channel in the first place, they weren't gonna let me do, and they hadn't for like a long time. Um, and so my brother said it was okay as long as they didn't un unlisted. And so they didn't want me posting the videos publicly because they said, oh, like once something's out on the internet, it's there forever, which is completely true. And every yeah. time I make a video, I remember that, and so I make sure my videos are appropriate and I like make them so that if anyone could see them, then like. I'd be fine with that. Um, yeah. And so, just I b before I even made them public, I made <laughs> I made unlisted gaming videos. So, like at that time was when I finally like ab about that time was when I was finally allowed to play violent games. And that's mm -hmm. I, I've talked that, that, about that before on my channel. But for a while, I wasn't allowed to play violent games. So right when I was able to, I started having more fun. I got more into video games. It wasn't just like a, maybe one game every couple weekends or something. It was like yeah. I like, would consistently play, and I'd have a lot of fun. And so then I started yeah. wanting to combine this skill I had for making videos and making for my family and putting them to gaming videos but I knew I couldn't post them publicly so originally what I did was I just started with basic let's play videos and I guess this sort of um, created my hate I don't want to say hate but my dislike for let's play videos because I did so many of them and just yeah. posted them unlisted so like no one could really see them unless so I sent the link to someone and yeah. I wouldn't send the link directly to family members because I knew like most of them probably didn't really care. But every once yeah. in a while, when I um, if there were times where I had made like a skit and at the same time made a gaming video, I said, okay, here's the actual video I'm sending you. But if you want to also check out this other one, if you're interested, here it is. And so like no one was really watching it, but like it it, it feels accomplished com accomplishing just publishing something to YouTube. Um, yeah, it's a lot and of the fun. The process yeah. really, I found like I found the process of just making videos is really rewarding. Definitely, yeah matter whether someone sees it or not it's just fun to see the final product but if you can remember like when you first got into when you first found out gaming on youtube is a thing like did you were you posting videos before you even found other youtubers or did oh. you just kind of oh, yeah definitely make it up as you go i didn't know youtubing was a thing until probably i started going 
public with videos because like like it's weird but there, there was a weird censorship for me not necessarily censorship like i never had like like on a device i never had like the okay you can only watch blank hours youtube i was fortunate i would never have that but like i just never searched for gaming videos yeah. i just i just didn't think they were a thing i didn't find yeah. them like interesting if they were a thing i was like why why, why search them if i could just like play the actual game um yeah. and so when i started going public that's when i realized like this whole gaming thing is actually a huge thing and they're actually yeah. like youtubers and stuff and so i i just one day when i was like a little bit older i don't remember how old i was but old enough to be more responsible i just asked my parents hey um could i post these publicly i've been posting them listlessly for a while and been keeping in mind that these are out there forever i post them and i believe i can be like responsible with posting these videos and they said okay yeah, yeah. it's all right so that's when i started actually posting videos i started out as just a let's play channel it was a different channel it was just um patrick doyle it was just an old channel that i used to um yeah. upload videos because it was just for my family um mm -hmm. and then i started um gaining a small track i think the max i got on that channel was only like eight subscribers but that felt like a ton because you know when you start out yeah. any amount feels like a lot because it's yeah. people watching your videos and enjoying enough to subscribe so it feels great like that um yeah so once i um got some traction there I moved over to a separate channel and made Patrick Games. Um, long story, but it's technically not the one I have today. I made it, I made mm -hmm. another Patrick Games feature, but I'm not going to get into that. It's too complicated. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you talk about that in one of your old videos. Yeah, um, yeah. So basically, I stopped making Let's Play videos because I realized they were really oversaturated and yeah. too many people were making them. So I just I stuck to commentaries or montages. I started with montages, like when I um, moved away from Let's Plays just to see what would happen. And they originally were like really terrible because they'd just yeah. be like one kill at a time with a sniper rifle, but I edited them with like cool music and stuff. And I got a lot of positive feedback, which is really what kept me going. Anyway, I talked a lot yeah. about that. What, so what did you do after um, you after your, you were um, you were doing sports montages and then started? Getting into gaming. So when I first I first found YouTube on gaming, I remember I was probably about 10 or 11, and I was really, really into Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and that game was so much fun for me. I'd play it every single weekend. I wasn't allowed to play during the week, but every single weekend on Friday, as soon as I got done with my school and my chores, I was hopping on Modern Warfare 3 and getting, getting on there to play. I remember I couldn't figure out there was something on the player card that they were like, they had the prestige emblems that you would get for prestiging in previous Call of Duties. I didn't know what that was. I couldn't figure it out. So I went on YouTube and I Googled it and I found a guy named T. Martin. <laughs> and uh, from then on, it was just, I kept on searching more and more stuff. Anytime I didn't know something to do in a game and I just couldn't figure it out, I would search it up and, and I would, you know, more and more start to watch this YouTube because it was, it was, it was enjoying yeah. I, like, I was enjoying it and I was enjoying the process of viewing it. And then um, a couple years down the lane, a couple years down the road from that, I really had no clue of how these games, like these gameplay videos were made or, or anything like that. And I actually came in, my dad was, was working on an editing program called Sony Vegas and it was something for his job. Hmm. And it was, the, it was the cheap version, the movie, like Sony Movie Studios, not the full $600 version. But um, I was just like, man, how does that work? That's really cool. And so... I would take old, stupid, middle school highlight basketball videos and I would edit them. And then the more and more I got into doing that, I would go and um, I'd take pro pro sports plays. I'd download them in really terrible quality because at the time I didn't know the best way to like download YouTube videos. So I'd record them in like really terrible quality on a YouTube downloader. And I'd put music to them and do montages. And if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down in the, in the description of my channel if you guys want to go see that just for fun and make fun of me. But... Anyway, um, that's really kind of how I got into YouTube. I, I really just, I enjoyed the feedback because I would make these short little videos and I'd show them to my brother and stuff like that. And he'd be like, oh, that's really cool. I mean, I think he was just trying to encourage me. I don't think he really understood, um, mm -hmm. you know, what was going on necessarily that I really wanted to, to do that. And so the more and more I really figured I wanted to get into gaming um, yeah. when I kept watching these YouTubers. And I just think of like, I have a really... I have a lot of thoughts and stuff that I want to put publicly. I want to make videos and I want people to see my opinion. But then I was like, I can't really. So, because I didn't, obviously I had no recording software. I had nothing like that. And slowly, through about six months, I researched and stuff. I found out, you know, the best way to, to record videos and all that kind of stuff. Well, not the best way, because obviously 
no one's there yet for YouTube. I'm not the best YouTuber. I don't make amazing content, but uh, I do the best with what I've got. So uh, it's job, just yeah. it's always a process. I love I love the the learning process of YouTube because there's no one even PewDiePie who's at like 40 million subscribers never is at the point where he's done learning. Mm -hmm. It's just something that I love about YouTube is that you can continue to grow and you can continue to learn. Yeah, things and there's like a before. deep layer of marketing strategy behind it. I've learned like a oh, yeah. lot of ways to like sell basically what you're viewing. Um, and a lot of yeah. people unfortunately have related to that to clickbait, which is a whole other conversation. Yeah. But um, yeah, which is definitely I do want to have a conversation. And a, and a topic about that because that's some of the drive I'm very emotionally attached to. But sorry, yeah, continue. Well, like in my opinion, one of the most important things to developing a YouTube channel is having um, it. Well, if you're running a commentary channel, of course, if you're it, is that you have some personality, something that sells you. You don't necessarily have to be different for everyone. Just something about you. You're not just like everywhere in different videos. Or maybe yeah. that's your character, I don't know. But, like, like there are a lot of, like, channels that are rage channels. So they're always, like, super angry or stuff. There's yeah. some people that are comedy channels. So they're always saying something stupid or funny. And there's some just people that are, yeah. like, nice guys. Like, I know you really like um, Nero Cinema. He's just, like, mm -hmm. his channel, his personality is a nice guy. So, like, you, you have to have a personality when developing a channel if it's going to be a commentary channel. And yeah. um, I've learned that over the years of YouTube. Yeah. that's It's just, it's kind of like a glimpse of people... It's funny because it, 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 on one side, it's like a glimpse of people into their real life, what their personalities might be like. But on the other side, they could be completely different in real life. They could be just being a character on YouTube. It's, it's really perplexing to me. I mean, some people are just transparent on YouTube and some people mm -hmm. aren't. But um, anyway, so the last kind of topic I wanted is obviously you continue to make videos for probably about... I've, I've noticed that on your channel, you go back for about like a year and a yeah. half of creating videos on your on your oh, and channel. I private a lot but, um, that are older, that were just let's plays yeah. that I hated now. <laughs> yeah. So what 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 motivates you to continue YouTube? What I mean, obviously other than the fans, because when you have people oh, yeah. that like your videos and stuff, what what do you what what keeps you well, driving? That's really what it is. Um. Yeah, oh, okay. So I've said before, even if I don't get any feedback, just like it, as long as I get like one view on a video someone's watched it then I feel accomplished like I, I did something someone watched it it feels even better if like there's at least one like on the video which there, there usually is so just any yeah. sort of feedback every once in a while just makes it all worth it and even if there wasn't I still enjoy the process of editing so if I come up with a cool video then it's fun for like at least me to watch so I like making them but I will say one of the things that was sort of like I don't know if I should say the turning point because like I probably was still going to be doing YouTube anyway, but it's something that really yeah. helped me continue doing it. Um, I made a video a while ago called "How to Convince Your Parents to Let You Get Call of Duty," and mm -hmm. that's um probably my favorite video on this channel. It wasn't a very well-made video. It wasn't scripted. I was just talking from um I shouldn't. It might have been scripted. I, I probably just had notes that I was um referring to as I was yeah. talking. Um, but like. I, I really spoke from the heart from that one because I have this whole experience with not being able to play violent games which I briefly talked about at the yeah. beginning of this commentary but if you want to check it out it's in that video I guess I'll link it in the description too. Um, I got a lot of positive feedback on it like that's like my most viewed video by far on my channel has like a few thousand likes and if you search just in like Google like how to convince your parents to let you get college you I think that's like the third result that comes up and I have like an overwhelming like po overwhelming positive feedback on that video I have like like I think just over 80 likes and only like one dislike and then like I have a ton of comments on it like I think I have um, more than a hundred comments on it because there have been so many people that like commented with their own personal issues and then each one of them I replied to like at least a paragraph response about what I recommended to them personally to do and that really made me feel good because I helped a majority of those people probably nine out of ten of those people reported back and they're like hey this this worked for me because I had the strategy yeah. that I um, used because it, would, it seemed like there was no way I was gonna be able to play these in the first place but um, yeah. yeah that positive feedback just really um, energized me and it's still going like like about every week I might get a comment on that video and I get an email that someone's commented so I'll reply to them with like what I think they should do and they um, thank me for the help and it, it just feels really good when you make just a video like that that's super impactful for someone yeah I think that's I think that's one of the I have really two reasons that continues to drive me on YouTube one of them is just kind of similar along the lines of what you said it's like there's so much, and whether you're a comedy channel or a commentary channel or whatever you want to do, 
mean, there's so much negativity in the world right now. I mean, let's be honest. Like, between yeah. whatever you want to talk about, politics, world oh, I battles, about whatever. Politics. Ugh, same so here, good. bro. But, um, anyway, I mean, it's just... There's so much negativity and so much hate towards each other. It's good to just be able to create a video that people can kind of take a respite from life and just enjoy the content you're creating. Because if they are staying and they're they're liking the video and stuff like that, means that means they're enjoying your content. And that like that for me is just I can't explain that feeling. It's just mm -hmm. the, the fact that someone enjoys something you did. And I mean, as much as yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm like a view whore, but it does really feel good to get a video yeah. with you know hundreds and hundreds of views. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. I mean, the most I think I capped out on my sports channel was like 1,300 was the highest I've ever gotten on a video. But I mean, it's just, it's so rewarding to just see people that enjoy your video, that legitimately enjoy your video. Mm -hmm. So, I guess one random fact, now that the video is sort of wrapping up, I guess. When, um, when I was posting Let's Play videos a while ago, like at first I made... Or at first mm -hmm. I made them unlisted, but then um, when I made my channel, I started posting Let's Play videos as public, but then soon I'd private them all because they were embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. But I, I would just play random games, and so I remember one game I was just playing a random baseball game on the iPad, and um, I recorded it. it was just a terrible Let's Play, you know, face cam, I was a squeaker, I was really young. <laughs> um, <laughs> But for you some gotta reason, that to me. you gotta link that to me. <laughs> yeah, like like I got I got thousands of views on that video. I mean, like the, there were like no likes or anything or dislikes, yeah. but just randomly thousands of views. <laughs> and I got one comment, and it was weird. Like this this actually did like sort of motivate me. But like, I had no idea who this person was. But I got one comment. It was kind of weird. It was like th this is one of my favorite games, and you're one of my favorite people to play it. <laughs> and like it was really what? nice, but like. <laughs> Like who are you? And like, <laughs> like, like at that time I had like probably like ten subscribers. So it's not like I've been never, a never for a see while. this person your subscriptions or likes or comments or anything ever again. Yeah, Just like, <laughs> yeah I didn't. I didn't ever see them again. It was it was weird, but it was like, nice. It, it was that's nice. stalker mode. I mean that's uh, yeah, it's really cool, but that's like stalker mode. Like yeah. I love you playing this game. Just leave. <laughs> like, every once in a while I'll do that. Like I'll go to a smaller channel. Like the other day I was watching someone's stream who um was was just starting out they had like 20 subscribers and i gave them some positive words of encouragement and sort of told them to like keep going at it and it feels good when you do stuff like that because yeah. um you, you know like how difficult it is starting it's very daunting and unfortunately a lot of people just quit like when they start because they're not getting the results they want so um yeah it just feels good to talk to someone about that yeah it's something that's it's really cool to kind of understand that I mean, every every person has a specific taste, but it's like I mean, there are so many videos that can can go to so many different people. It's just it's a really cool feeling, and I mean, I just I, I could I could talk endlessly. And one kind of side topic, I mean, that's kind of going to allude to another video I think I'm going to do, and that I might do with you as well, is that I mean, I feel like that feeling of like when someone like you goes and gives positive feedback, because I mean, in the realm of smaller channels, you're one of the bigger ones. Like obviously, 150 subscribers is a lot to to a lot of people that are just trying to start their channels and I feel like the positive feedback of that kind of stuff is being ruined by people who who go in and say like oh bro nice video and then two lines down they're like would you mind checking out my channel yeah. it's like oh. it kind of ruins the idea of positive feedback uh, yeah. because if I want to go give positive feedback to somebody I want to do it because I like their content I like what they're doing not because yeah. I want to shout out or anything like that but like I said I could go on a whole tangent for that that's a that's a definitely another topic of a video but mm -hmm. um, I feel like I feel like this video has been kind of adequately covered kind of our motivations for mm -hmm. YouTube and everything like that. So yeah. um, uh, I feel like I'll wrap it up here. So I appreciate you guys checking out um, uh, this video and I hope you uh, check out Patrick's channel. Um, I really I really enjoy making these commentaries with him and I hope you guys enjoy watching them from the comments I've been seeing you guys have been enjoying them. So um, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I appreciate it and thank you for coming on Patrick. Yep, definitely. It was fun. We should do this again sometime. If you're on my channel, the Velocity's link will be in the description and see you later. Yes sir. Peace out.